everyone. I want to share with you a story. A guy helped his friend to keep two birds that had been bred in cage for several years. In his home, he wanted to give the birds some freedom, and let them fly, and have fun. So he opened the cage. But beyond his expectation, the birds didn't come out. After some hours, one of the birds hopped out and flied around the cage for several minutes and went back again. The cage is the comfort zone of the birds now. The world outside now became a danger place, and that little space bounded by iron in a lock with some tempting water and speckled spring means safety to them. Some of us are actually like the birds in the story. We enjoy staying at their comfort zone and are willing to fly out. What is a comfort zone? It is our cage that is filled with things that makes you feel safe and cozy. And outside are things you don't like and are even scared of. I have a very big problem in choosing things. Every time I had to make a decision about what we eat in dinner, I always said sushi. Sushi all the time. If I have 144 times in that three years we can choose, then maybe I would choose sushi for about 100 times. That's my limit on choosing food. My mom always wanted me to try new things, so the other 44 times would be new food. But it is not that easy to let me try something new. Every time my mom wanted me to try new food, I was always like, what if it's not good? Then my mom would say impatiently, if it's not good, then you can eat sushi again. If I really wanted to eat sushi, I would complain all the way to that restaurant. And when I tried the new food, I found out that I actually liked it very much. And the next time I would choose the same new food, like that, my eating limit had been broken. Besides this, I am uh, very shy. For a very long time, I was afraid to speak in front of many people even my classmates. Every time I stand up and answer a question, I blush very hard and get very scared. And my heart is beating so hard that when I sit down, it's like I just finished a running race. Even speaking in front of my classmates will make me so nervous. Taking a speech in front of someone I even don't know is a really big challenge to me. My mom always told me you only have one chance for many big things. If you don't talk about your opinion, people won't know. So I always try to get out of my speaking conference zone and try to speak again and again. When I first gave a speech, I acted quite calm and sounded quiet, but my insight was actually crazy and was like, Oh my gosh, what should I do? What's wrong with me? Why am I doing this? Can I be the last one? And the thing is, I was very scared so that I cannot say anything, neither moving on a stage. It feels like I'm going to jump out of a plane with nearly nothing. And now, I'm not that nervous, but my legs will still shake and I will feel really remorse when I am on stage. Just like I'm going to jump out of the same airplane with a parachute which is refusing to work. But when I finished the speech, I was like, it's not that scary after all. And I had a huge change in answering questions in class. At first, my teacher called me and let me answer the question. I even couldn't say any word just like a piece of woodblock standing. Can you imagine how awkward it was? Then, after some struggles, I could push myself to raise my hand on Shirley like this. But now, I raise my hand quite surely like this. Also, I am more confident in class. 
Actually, our comfort zone will be bigger after some challenges of getting out. And you will find that something you hated before is actually fun. As the picture shows, in the beginning, you are in the green area. After pushing yourself into the yellow area, your comfort zone will be bigger and bigger. For me, I found some food much more delicious than sushi. I am glad that I am stepping out of my comfort zone, and I hope that more of you can join me in this brave endeavor. Go beyond your ordinary self. Be extraordinary. Why? Because you can. I believe you can. Thank you.